Bobby, tell me a little bit about what happened to you recently. I'm Bobby. Recently, I lost my apartment. I became homeless. I had to uh, stay at my AA clubhouse in the field. I've had to camp here the last two or three days. Because you have a video camera there, I feel safer there. But I still get uh, vandalized. People take whatever they want from me. And uh, it's very uncomfortable. It's the only place I can stay. I'm here to God there. And I come to my church here. Uh, so I know that God will help me get fine. I have a little moment to live in because I have faith and confidence. There is a living Lord Jesus. He's not going to let me live this way. So you had a place up until recently, right? Yes. And then you were evicted, correct? Yes. And now you're staying outdoors yes. in a tent? No, I'm not, I don't have a tent. The rain just tanned her picnic table. They stole my tent. Oh, okay, someone stole your tent. Yeah. So you said if it rains, then you stay under a picnic table? Yeah. And uh, how long? Have you been homeless right now? Approximately a week. At first, I stayed with a, a buddy on his uh, couch. I gave him a little bit of money for the couch to rent the couch. Man, I had a falling out because his sister moved in with him, and she wanted something to do with me. I wouldn't have anything to do with her. So we, I had to leave out there because I got evicted from the house I was staying in, renting the couch with my friend. And now I've been homeless for about a week. What has that experience been like, Bobby? It's like a, a living uh, hell. Living in hell? Every day, every, uh, every day I get a provision from God, I get fed. And, uh, it's not, it's not, like, not every day, but some days I can take a shower because the church has a shower in there. And it helps me tremendously. The church has helped me immensely. But I know there's a Father God that has a gathering here today. It was wonderful. People gave their testimonies. Uh, Frank, for the Frank, for the guitar. The Lord, the Lord had touched me through music. He sang a song by Elvis. And that was really cool because Elvis is really, really just great. He's just. You told me you recently had surgery, right? Yes. What kind? I had a bone removed from my right, right foot. A bone removed? Yeah, from my right foot because of the mercy. Mercer? Yeah, that was in September. Yep. Now it's infected with a woman outside. I might go to the hospital. I, I, I leave you and you know, be a patient until I get some IVs on with the uh, antibiotics. What foot uh, did they operate, Bobby? My right foot. I have the worst. Do you have swelling? What's the other one over here? Yes. I don't want Any pain? Yes, I think it's from an infection. Do you mean living outside where it's dirty and you're coming around? They're stuck my foot like I should. Clean and change my band. So I'm, I'm God, with God's uh, love, I'll be healed and uh, I'll be able to uh, carry on, maybe find a job and get eventually find me a place. How old are you, Bobby? 63. Do you receive any kind of benefits? Yeah, I live to the, the lady from the other church, the uh, Grace Baptist Church, is trying to help me get my application approved so I can uh, live in the high rise. That's, that's a benefit to being a senior citizen. I just need to be approved and uh, uh, my approval is pending. Now, Bobby, being out in the street, do you ever get uh, harassed yes, by other homeless? Every day. They arrest me for cigarettes, mining, anything to get food. They want me to bite to open. I'm, I've been clean for some time now, so I don't, I don't play into that. I know the hustle, I know the crap they're trying to uh, sell me uh, Jesus, uh, the devil's, uh, they're trying to advocate the devil through his drugs and mentally me through the alcohol, so I don't use or drink anymore because I know that's serving the devil. Your leg looks kind of swollen, Bobby. Yeah, I'm going to the hospital after, after I get my camp busted down and get some of the things in a safe, safe place where I can get my stuff. Now, do the cops ever harass you? Yeah, I got yesterday, uh, they came up to the clubhouse, I had a clubhouse and asked me what I was doing there. 
I saw him on his way to an AA pick function store because he was having a picnic yesterday. And he just said, as long as you ain't drinking a drug, it's not going to be a lot of So they let me alone. I imagine living outdoors like you do, especially during this time of year, it must be very hard because you have a lot of bugs and it's hard. insects and the heat. Insects are growing anything I got that they want. I pop anything, I feed anything, steal anything off of me. Again, food, clothing, anything, anything. You said you had a tent, correct? Yeah, they stole my tent. And they stole it. How long ago was that? A couple days ago. Do you know who took it? Yeah, I do. Did they take it while you were gone? Yeah. So somebody knew you were staying there? Where you yeah, were. I go somewhere where a cooling station like the library or something so like cool wall. This this really ungodly hot out here. Like right now I have a whole little, little hard time breathing because of the heat. But I know God will provide. Well Bobby, um I was able to leave you a nice backpack full of all kinds of goodies inside. Um I'm I'm thankful that God allows me to do this, that I'm able to provide for you guys when you need it. It's not a lot, but there's a couple things in there that could be useful to you. And listen, there's so many insects out here. There's bees flying around all over. Gnats, it looks like. Um, all kinds of insects. They're all over the place. Also, I'm on diabetic. I have a uh chronic uh, kidney failure, so I really need to go to the hospital. I'm afraid that my kidney may shut down. I'm afraid that I have a, a infection in my leg that could travel to my heart. I really need to go to the hospital and take care of my health. Are you on any kind of medication? I take insulin for my diabetes, um, a heart pill for my uh, blood pressure. Blood pressure medicine? Yes. Yeah. Did they give you anything for your leg? No, not yet. No pain medicine? No. They gave me antibiotics, but I've lost them. Somebody maybe stole them on my, good, my goods. I push a, a, a basket cart around to keep my, my goods in the basket. And they want my basket out there. Now, Bobby, I gave you this backpack. It's brand new. I hope that you'll be careful because things like this are easy for other homeless to come and snatch them so you hold down tight to it okay I appreciate it sister I think you guys true but I give me it. your hand sweetie I want to pray for you look I've got bugs all over me okay dear lord I pray for my friend Bobby that you will protect him during this time when he's out in the elements that you'll put a protective hedge around him so that other people don't come and harass him or hurt him in any way. I pray, Lord, that you will bring healing to his body, to his leg, and that you will open doors of opportunity for him so that he will get house soon. He can get it, his own place, get food, all the things that he needs, the provisions that he needs. And I just ask you, Lord, to please send your angels to put a protective hedge around him and look after him day and night, dear Lord. And we ask this in your mighty name. Amen. 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 Look, there's all kinds of crawling things getting on me. And I'm sure they get on you yes, when you're out sleeping. I bought, like I said, I bought the repellent and it vanished. So mm -hmm. they still need anything again. I'll so finish. where are you going now, Bobby? Going back to the AA meeting. Went for an AA meeting to begin at 7 o'clock. Okay, all right. And then and you'll I'm head. Try to go to church. I went to the hospital. And then you'll head to your little space, right? My camp, yeah. Your it's camp. Beside the egg, but I'm staying there because there's cameras. And I feel protected by the cameras and that will stop the doing anything. Bobby, just be really careful. You don't tell others where you're staying, do you? They know, they know me. They know where I'm at. They know where you stay? Yeah. News travels fast in this small town. Just be careful, especially at night when you're sleeping. Well, I can't, I 
Do they ever come and harass you at night? They come and steal my personal thing. Oh, okay. Force them being in jail. At least mm -hmm. in jail, you could have a locker for yeah. nobody's sake. Right. Okay, sweetie. All right. All right, be careful, okay? okay? I'm gonna try to go up here and get ready for AA. And God willing, I'll see you again next week, all yes, right? Yes, ma'am. All right, sweetie. I'll go to the hospital. Thank you for sharing a little bit about your story, okay? Thank you. I know I've known I've known you for a while now. Maybe I hope it helps somebody. Okay, sweetie. But you need to keep on your uh, guard. I love you at home and everything. We're we're going through a house in crisis. That's what we. Okay, Bobby. They rent you rent stuff. All you can, all you afford it. Be careful, okay, sweetie. Yes, you too. Have a safe drive home. Avoid the heat. Oh, I try to, Bobby. Really, I do. Thank <laughs> you.